I wanted to do an update, a video update on our faucet that we finished around October of 2020. Uh, this is our guest bathroom, half bath. So this is not used heavily like a kitchen faucet or even say my six year old son's bathroom. Uh, probably gets used one, two, five times a day, potentially. Um, so it's definitely not heavy traffic. So as you can see, it looks pretty good. It's held up pretty well for the length that we've had it. Uh, I can scratch it with my nail. Nothing happens, that was a piece of dust. Uh, when my husband installed it, when the paint was still somewhat fresh, he told me that he dinged the back of it when you turn it. So we do have a piece that is damaged here. So like I said, he dinged that when uh, the paint was fresh and didn't really tell me about it, but you can't really, you don't really see it. That's why I didn't know that it was there. So it definitely can get damaged. Um, I would let it cure in your garage for a week or so before installing it and just take care when you install it. Um, so these, these little things, if I wanted to, we could remove it and you clean it with a little bit of acetone and you can respray it. Uh, but it doesn't bother me, so I'm just gonna leave it. So all in all, we're really happy with it, even though it's not 100% perfect. Um, it's held up for us, just how we intended it to. Um, I can't make any guarantees if it'll hold up for you. Um, we live in the desert and when we did this, it was not cold out, wasn't hot out. It was probably in the 75 degree range. So that could have an impact on the staying ability. Um, I definitely recommend doing the primer, the spray paint, and then the clear enamel as well. So I had also, or my husband had refinished this light fixture, just the same way that we did the faucet. And we chose not to hang it up. So I wanted to, since we're not using this, I wanted to get a pair of scissors. I've never done this, so the result will be as surprising to me as it is to you to see if the paint scratches off. It does. Well, maybe not. Sorry, I'm having a really hard time getting this to focus. So it looks scratched, but it's really just a surface scratch, not peeling. Let me see if I can get that off with some water and I'll be right back. Okay, I rubbed it with a paper towel and some water. The whiteness came off and you can still see a scratch. However, the paint is still there. So I feel like even if this was still the original nickel color, it would still have the same type of scratch. So I mean, I wouldn't go around scrubbing your faucet with scissors or anything. Um, probably use microfiber for cleaning as opposed to a scrub sponge, but um, all in all, I'm still really happy with the decision to go ahead and spray paint the faucet. Um, I think it still looks good. And yeah, I mean, tell me, tell me what you think. I may not have bought a brand new faucet that was expensive to do this to, but this was my builder faucet and I didn't want to buy another Moen. And when I bought a generic one, the 
pipes didn't match up and it was just gonna be a hassle to switch out. So we went ahead and spray painted it. Um, if you wanna update on some of our other projects, I'll be making videos for those pretty soon, including the shiplap on the fireplace and the frames for our mirrors. Interested in those updates, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell.